During the creation of our short film Milo and Ziggy, one of our biggest challenge was to get a robot that is coherent on different levels. For this, we have developed a workflow that we will detail together in this video. The first step is already to create its character. For this tutorial, I started from scratch, so I decided to create a little cat. Let's go! So I previously generated my character with ComfyUI and then I turned it over with Photoshop tools to have my little cat on a black background. So we go back to our Comfy interface, this time to show you this famous workflow. So here we are going to load it, it's called 3D. I put it in the description, of course. Obviously, you put back the style that you used for your character, the elements in the prompt and in the negative prompts. So we are going to be interested in this cell here, 3D, you see. And I'm already going to load the cat. I have my cat here. You have to make sure that you have loaded the right model here. This model is provided in the description. So I'm going to put my prompt, very simple here for the tutorial, a white cat. So we are going to look at these four nodes here. So you see there's two nodes here. The first, this one, is going to be the movement of the camera on the horizontal axis And this one, it will be the movement on the vertical axis. So, if I want to move my cat on the horizontal axis, I will simply move the seed. For example, if I put the seed at 10, so I leave it at 1. If I put it at 10 and that I generate my image here, you see it generated a 3D image of my cat with a slight rotation. This image is not at all qualitative. The cat is deformed. So below here, we see that our cat has been repainted in image to image by applying the style that we had chosen, that it comes out in a much more qualitative way. So if I change my seed again and put it at 50, I regenerate it and while quite slimpy, it will turn my cat again. And I have my cat 2-3 repainted in the image to image automatically, thanks to her workflow, and you have a cat which is consistent. Then, if I want to turn it in the other direction, we cannot put less here, so it is simply necessary that I continue. So I can put 119 here, I regenerate and that's it, I have my cat from back. So obviously my cat has a little problem here. So don't hesitate to regenerate your images to have the good one. And don't hesitate obviously to do modification on Photoshop or others. If I continue to rotate it, I will put 250 for example. Here I will have it on the other profile and regenerate correctly. So that's for the camera on the horizontal axis. Now, if you want to do high angle or low angle framing, there we will play with this node, which is here. So I'll show you, for example, I put 20 here. You will see what it looks like. I generate it. And there we can see my cat in high angle clean into image to image. We have something that is still rather nice, which works very well with our starting cat. So now, to really show you the whole point of this workflow, I'm going to give you a little demonstration by turning the camera 
360 around our little cat. For that, we're going to put this seed at zero. We're going to make sure here to leave it on increment. And in this node, we're going to put 10. So now, our camera will move from 10 to 10. Here, I'm going to click on Extra Options and I'm going to choose a batch count of 36. And now, I'm going to Generate. And that's it! If you like this tutorial, feel free to comment, like, share and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. See you soon!